Ai Qing was surrounded by several foreigners, Han Shangyan hurried back, rushed them away, picked up a stick, and was about to fight them hard. Ai Qing was very puzzled and asked him why he could only think of using violence to solve the problem. Maybe these foreigners just didn't understand the language and wanted to have a drink with her. At this time, Xiaomi also came and stopped Han Shangyan. Han Shangyan had no choice but to flick his stick angrily and leave. Ai Qing returned to the hotel with lingering fears. After taking the cake from someone else, she was a little pity and authentic, she wanted to give Han Shangyan a good surprise, but she didn't expect things to turn out like this. Han Shangyan returned to the room when Xiaomi came over. Han Shangyan asked Xiaomi again why the team Xiaomi chose after his comeback was Solo's SP instead of his own KK. Xiaomi told him that in his mind, Solo had always been the irreplaceable captain of the Solo team, and he had vowed to fight with him until the day they retired together. In addition, Han Shangyan should also think about it. Ai Qing and Solo were a little sorry for him back then, but he shouldn't have been holding grudges until now. After venting, Xiaomi sent another cake to him, saying that it was given to him by Ai Qing, wishing him a happy birthday. Later, when he turned on his mobile phone, Han Shangyan received another birthday congratulations from Tong Nian. After putting down the phone, he lit a candle and tasted the cake alone, feeling overwhelmed all of a sudden. Han Shangyan asked Xiaomi to come out. At the bar of a bar, he met his old friend Judy, and Xiaomi immediately saw that Judy liked Han Shangyan. Han Shangyan and Xiaomi sat at a table and chatted casually. The next day, in a field, an important duel in a cybersecurity contest finally began. Many teams had gathered together to prepare for a peak competition. With the host's order, many players were divided into groups and fought in pairs to compete for the final championship. The Chinese players also participated in it and immersed themselves in the fierce competition. O Chang defeated his opponent, but Xiaomi lost to a strong opponent Naya, and lost in the first round. Fortunately, the other five Chinese players have successfully entered the next round. During the break between the games, Han Shangyan found Xiaomi who was alone and comforted him well. Xiaomi praised that Wu Bai, Han Shangyan's cousin, really did well. Ai Qing found Wu Bai, who was alone, and encouraged him to say that he hoped that he could win the world championship today. Wu Bai couldn't help revealing his love to Ai Qing. Back then, when Team Solo won the national championship, he was only a high school student, and he secretly swore that he must practice hard and strive to win the world championship in front of her one day. Not long after, Wu Bai was ready to compete. After several rounds of competition, his opponent was Naya, who was ranked second in the world. Wu Bai was the number one in the world. The two had never played against each other before. With an order from the host, the game started quickly. Wu Bai solved several problems one after another, and he immediately gained the upper hand in the scene, which made the audience immediately boil, but Naya was not to be outdone, and took the initiative to attack Wu Bai's server, and quickly won three nodes in the battle. But then Wu Bai was not idle, and immediately returned the color, which made Naya had a headache immediately. Soon, Wu Bai did not relax again, and continued to attack Naya, and finally defeated Naya at the end. At this time, the host finally announced excitedly that Wu Bai had won the championship of this game. The scene immediately turned into cheers. Tong Nian became excited when she saw the grand occasion of the competition in China. She hurriedly called Han Shangyan and congratulated him. Putting down the phone, Tong Nian was so excited that she couldn't contain herself again, and hurriedly walked to the living room to tell Dad Tong and the others the good news. Tong Nian went back to her room. At this time, the foreign competition was already preparing to issue the trophy for this competition. 
The host announced the awards for this competition one by one on the field, and finally announced Wu Bai as the champion of this individual competition. The scene suddenly boiled. Wu Bai and his team members raised the flag at the scene, which made the audience even more excited. And Tong Nian, who was in front of the domestic computer, also burst into tears. That night, the team members gathered in the hotel excitedly, and a reporter came excitedly and wanted to interview them. In the room, Nan Wei picked up a bottle of wine and congratulated Han Shangyan well. However, between the words, he confided again that in this competition, he seemed to clearly see that Xiaomi's performance was poor. At night, the team members were all excited when they drove outdoors. They even put on a very passionate song, humming along with the tone of the song.